I'm Russ Mattern, or sometimes I go by Rusty. Uh, there are three Russes here at the college, so uh, it gets interesting at times. And I'm a professor of systems management. I did 26 years in the Air Force, and uh, I started out in weapon systems uh, software. One of the programs I worked on was the air launch cruise missile, which appears to still be around today, so that was quite some time ago. Then I kind of went in a different direction. Uh, the Air Force sent me up to optome off to optometry school. So I've been a practicing eye doctor since 1980. And in my last job in the Air Force, I ended up in a medical IT um, program that, where I was a program manager and managing a budget of about 40 to $50 million a year. I had gone to uh, school down the street here to the Eisenhower School, and I really liked the environment, so I did some um, guest lecturing in e-health <clears throat> in one of the classes here at the, uh, the I College and uh, found out that they had faculty openings coming up shortly so I went ahead and applied and I've been here now for this is my 15th year teaching. Uh, at this point I'm teaching a class in IT acquisition and I also teach one in supply chain risk management which has to do more with counterfeit chips and counterfeit uh, parts going into systems, weapon systems and other things. And it also has to do with malware going into the software. So those are the two primary areas I focus on right now. I've, I have been in a various area, other areas too, and I teach lessons and other courses that are fairly broad. The uh, IT acquisition course is one that to me has tremendous importance since we do have a, a, a chief information officer course and certificate that teaches people to be a CIO. One of the areas that I find that uh, some of them have a weakness in, and it's only because they haven't been exposed to it, is in acquisition. So if we think back to the Clinger Cohen Act, part of that was the IT Acquisition Reform Act, and then now, just recently, in the last couple of years, we've had the Federal Information Technology Acquisition Reform Act. Again, it speaks directly to the CIO and the role they play when they're trying to watch over acquisitions in the IT arena. We don't have the best track record in that area, and I'm trying to make people smarter so that they can make better decisions and ask for outside help if they need it, because there is plenty of outside help to do that. So that's one of the tough things I find is, is um, folks who come into the IT arena, they can come from any area. Uh, there's not necessarily a degree requirement in, on the federal side. And so we have a lot of people who ended up on IT from various places and they just don't you know, sometimes have the background. The course that I teach tries to make them feel a lot more comfortable with acquisition so that they can make more sound decisions. The supply chain course is sort of a rabbit hole or uh, a place where the students can realize that just acquisition alone is tough enough. Now we have to worry about the components that go into our IT systems. Now we have to wonder about the sourcing of parts that go into the, the computers and networks we have and possibly the malware that's going in on the software side. For instance, if you can find a, a Cisco router for half the price out on the internet, it's probably not a Cisco router, but it's gonna look a lot like one. So those are the, some of the things that we're dealing with now. And that wasn't really in the realm of things 10, 15 years ago, although I'm sure there were counterfeits then. We're just seeing a lot more of it now because there's a lot of money to be made. Or there's a lot of uh, high, highly classified information that can be exfiltrated through systems that are compromised. The biggest challenge is making students feel comfortable in these two areas and then getting them to have the confidence to make decisions of we need to maybe go in a different direction. Uh, when it comes to the contracting system, they need to understand that it's a level playing field and things do take longer in the government because compared to the commercial world, we have to make sure all bidders, all vendors get an equal shot or opportunity. And in, in doing that, we'll have a much better chance of having source selections that are f proper and aren't contested at the end of the uh, source selection. So that's one of the bigger problems, not problems, but just one of the areas they have to have a better understanding in. Uh, 
Uh, for the students coming in, the, the newest ones, don't be afraid of us, <laughs> number one. We understand that maybe you haven't been in school uh, for some time and you're not used to writing papers. You're going to have to get used to writing those and you have to make sure all the thoughts are your own and all that and you have to document things. But realize that when you come here, we, we professors would like to think we're the font of all knowledge, but the facts are we have a lot of students with a lot of expertise in the classroom. These are not newbies or novices. These are people who have in the trenches experience and you will learn Expect to learn as much from your classmates as you learn from the professors. If nothing else, we hope to guide where the conversation goes and show you areas where you can dig deeper when you, want to, when you have time on your own because we just can't cover everything. For instance, a subject like acquisition, uh, we try to handle that in the space of a five-week program where we have one week intensively with you or we do it in a distance learning setting. To do acquisition, you almost have to live it and there are a lot of courses you can take at other universities that help cover those areas. Our goal is to make you become curious enough that you hunt down some of these things on your own and give you some places where you can find answers.